See, I'm going to discuss gene frequency in a merged population. A merged population will be formed by fusion of two, three, or even more populations with each other. If all such populations are equal in size, then we can anticipate the uh, allele frequency as well as genotype frequency for a specific gene locus. This idea we can have by going through this problem. See, in this question, what is given? Each of two isolated populations are in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium with the genotype frequencies shown below. See, these are two populations, population 1 and population 2, and their genotype frequency for a specific gene locus is given. Genotype capital AA, its frequency is 4%, that is 0 0.04. Heterozygotes AA1, they are 0.32. And A1A1, its frequency is 0.64. Frequency of these three genotypes in population 2 is 0.64 for AA, 0.32 for heterozygote and A1A1, 0 0.04. If you see carefully, then heterozygotes, they are completely equal in frequency in both the populations. Whereas in population 1, the frequency of AA is 4%, whereas in population 2, it is 64%. And the situation is just opposite in case of uh, uh, for A1, A1 genotype, that is uh, in population 1, the frequency of A1, A1 is 64%, whereas it is only 4% for population 2. Now, the question is if the populations are equal in size. Okay, these two populations, they are completely equal in size and they are merged to form a single population then predict the allele frequency in the merged population. If merged population reproduces by random mating, then predict genotype frequencies in the next generation. So let us see if the two populations are merged with each other, then what would be the genotype frequencies? See, if population 1 and 2 they are merged, then the average frequency of uh, AA genotype could be known. That is, you simply add 0 0.04 and 0 0.64 and take its average. It will come 0 0.34. For heterozygote, since the frequency is 0 0.32 for population 1 and same for population 2, so when you will take its average, it will come 0 0.32, means no change at all in the average frequency of heterozygote. And the frequency of A1, A1 in merged population will also be 0 0.34 because when you will add 0 0.64 with 0 0.04 and uh, take its average, then this will also come 0 0.34. So the merged population will have its genotype frequency 0.34 for AA, 0.32 for A, A1, and 0.34 for A1, A1. When you will calculate the frequency of capital A and A1 alleles, it will come 0.5 and 0.5 respectively, means both will have equal allele frequency. Okay, because 0 0.34 will be added with half the frequency of heterozygote, that is 0.16, it will come 0.5. Likewise, 0.34, that is frequency of A1, A1, plus half the frequency of heterozygote, this will also be 0.5. So the merged population will have its genotypic frequency 0 0.34, 0 0.32, and 0.34. Allele frequency will be 50-50%. Now, if this population, merged population, is allowed to breed for next generation or for further generations, then there would be very high chance that future population 
will have the genotype frequency 0 0.25, 0 0.50 and 0.25 because we know that uh, in future there would be high probability that uh, the genotype capital AA will be P square so 0.5 its square will be 0 0.25 then 2pq will be for heterozygotes so 2 into 0.5 into 0.5 so this will come 0 0.50 and even uh, even genotype its frequency will also be 0.25 because this will be indicated by q square and 0.5 its square will be 0.25 so future population will have its genotype frequency for aa 0.25 for heterozygote it will be 0 0.50 and for A1A1 A1, it will be 0 0.25 and when you will calculate the allele frequency capital A and is uh, A1 unfortunately small A is also written A1 then it will come 0 0.5 and 0.5 so this way you can have idea that if two populations which are equal in size if they are merged together then what would be the fate of uh, three genotypes uh, for a specific gene locus and uh, based on the frequency of these three genotypes you can also calculate the allele frequency for that merged population and if such population is in hardy wind work equilibrium then the future population its genotype frequency and allele frequency can also be computed.